everybody and welcome to today's book review. Today we are talking about The Natural Psychic, Ellen Dugan's personal guide to the psychic realm. I love this book. I love Ellen Dugan. Y'all already know this. I've done a couple book reviews on some of her books and every single time I always have to start with how much I love her writing style. To me her writing style just makes sense. It's concise. It's sweet. It um, just flows very naturally. So to me just her writing style makes me want to read anything that's hers. So whatever kind of topic I'm looking into if I know that Ellen Dugan has made a book on it I'm gonna pick it up, I'm sure. So, um, the same can be said about this book. It was very written very well, very flowy. I felt like I can pick it up and um, put it back down and pick it up and put it back down with, with ease. So I really loved that. Um, one of the things that I also love about Ellen Dugan, which also is true about this book, is that on the topics that she writes about, she tries to give you, um, the facts or her opinions on it tries to make it um, about the specific topic and not necessarily include spiritual beliefs or religious aspects to the book or to the topic. And as a person that is um, more of an agnostic nature, um, less religious nature, less goddess and goddessy um, nature, to me it really speaks to me and that just kind of puts me at ease. And so right in the start of the book, I think probably in her intro chapter, she does talk about that, how she wanted to do a book that is focused on psychic development but doesn't have that uh, spiritual, but the author's spiritual beliefs imposed into it, which most of them do, which is understandable as, you know, witchy ways also can be understandable because it's they're meshed together. Um, so I really kind of appreciated her saying like, you know what, I'm gonna put them apart a little bit and just kind of give you the the facts, my opinions, and break it down a little and just help and just, just put that there. Um, so I really, really appreciated that. Um, so jumping right into the book, she defines some terms that I feel are so helpful. I love when authors do this because um, I think it makes it so that if you are a complete beginner, have absolutely no idea what you're doing, you can literally pick up the book and they're not using these big words that you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So like she breaks down um, all the clairs. Um, she talks about premonition for precogni pre precognition precognition. I can never pronounce that correctly. Um, and there's even a glossary at the back of the book that kind of goes further into other um, words or terms that you might not be familiar with in case. Um, for me, I think it's a nice refresher just to say, okay, what are your takes on these words? And I really appreciate that with, again, with most of her books that she puts herself into all these, uh, all these chapters. So, most of these chapters have some story behind it. Uh, most of the sections have a little, a little, um, a little story or like, hey, this is kind of how I felt about this. This is kind of what happened to me when I was doing a reading for somebody. You know, I helped somebody um, kind of uh, work on their development this way and this really helped for them or whatever. So it kind of gives you a really good example. And I, again, for me, it helps kind of make it click and be like, oh, okay real life situation this is you know this makes sense to me for some reason it just it just helps me so so anyway so I really have uh, appreciate that about most of her books and uh, especially about this one I also appreciate that she had uh, just a small chapter on mediumship a lot of psychic development books um, have a decent amount of mediumship uh, talk in it which to me <sighs> Yes, you have to be a psychic to be a medium, but you don't need to be a medium to be a psychic. You could just be a psychic and have the psychic connection with your spirits and being able to um, connect to them and your guides or your angels, whoever, whoever they may be. And for me, when I want to read a psychic development book, that's what I want to read about. If I wanted to read about mediumship, then I'd pick up a book about mediumship. And lots of times um, they kind of go hand in hand in a psychic awareness book or psychic development book which to me doesn't necessarily make sense so I like how she did touch on it 
And again, I think as for somebody who's brand new who maybe wants to work on that, I didn't necessarily know what it was called or whatever, could really get some useful um, tools from that section. She kind of goes and breaks it down like exactly how she does a medium ship reading, which I thought was really cool. But again, I love how she kind of kept it short and sweet and to the point. And I think that was great and kind of moved on. Let's psychic abilities as a whole. Let's just keep going forward. So to me, that really made sense. And I really appreciated that. Um, she also had a short, sweet chapter on the tarot, which I thought was great, uh, but just how you can use it as a divination tool, not necessarily about uh, the cards themselves, but what the tarot are and how you can use it in spreads, how you can use it to connect to your intuition and things like that. So I thought that was great. Um, again, not diving way too deep, but just kind of a brief like overview, like, okay, if this is, if this makes sense to you here, this is where you can kind of go and, and branch off and do that and look more into that also. So I thought that was great. Um, she also had another short, sweet uh, chapter talking about ghost hunting and seances, which I thought was kind of cute because so many of us that are into um, psychic development also kind of have a niche for ghost hunting or things like that. Um, and so I thought that was kind of cute to include just a small chapter on that and like what the difference is between ghost hunting and mediumship and how they're not the same thing and, and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of great. Um, and then finally, towards the end, she had a psychic training uh, chapter where I really appreciated that she kind of broke it down into the five senses doing one sense or focusing on one sense every day. And to me, I felt like that really helped. I thought that that was a genius kind of idea. I love kind of, and I tell my students too, to incorporate the five senses into doing their work when they're doing spell work. So to me, that totally made sense into your psychic work. Um, and that kind of, again, helping how you, which Claire you might be most in tune with or might need most help with or things like that. So I felt like that kind of training was was great. And at the very end toward the uh, the chapters, she had um, a section about psychic protection, which I thought was great and very useful, very needed for especially people that are um, brand new to this world, whatever. They definitely need to know like psychic protection is very much needed and very helpful. Um, Cause a lot of times that's where people can get in trouble. So, um, so I'm glad that she included that for sure. So, uh, so yeah, so of course, five out of five stars. I do love this book. I love her. She can do no wrong, really. I, it's, it's true. So, um, so I'm not biased at all. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this book review and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.